in this screencast I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft Excel to make graphs for data and to uh, fit lines of best fit to your data and to get R squared values and equations for your lines. I'll also be showing you a technique uh, that you can use to try to linearize your data. So let's say that this is the experiment where I vary the mass of a cart by adding mass blocks while keeping the force on it constant and I see what the uh, acceleration is that results. And we all know that the result is Newton's second law, that the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass. But if I didn't know that already, here's how I might figure it out. I would highlight this data and select it like that. And then I would go to this is the 2011 for Mac version of uh, Excel, but in any version of Excel, the thing that you want to do is make a chart. The type of chart that you want to make is a scatter plot, and you don't want the lines connected. You just want marked scatter, that is to say, unconnected points. So you go like that, and boom, that comes up. Um, and I can see, oh man, maybe that's a little bit linear. Here's what I'll do. I'll highlight the data by left-clicking on one of the points, then I'll right click it and go to add trend line. You might be in any of these different sub menus. For type, we want a linear trend or regression line. Under options, I want display the equation on the chart and display the R squared value on the chart. And if you remember, an R squared value close to 1 means that the data is quite linear. Here, the R squared value is 0.82, so medium linear. Um, so I will try to linearize it, and let's say that I have the inspired guess, ah, maybe 1 over the mass is proportional to the acceleration, instead of the mass being proportional to the acceleration. So here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, let's take this data for mass uh, down here. I just copied and pasted it. And now let me create a new column called 1 divided by the mass. And so now that I'm in here, I'm going to say that the value of this cell equals and then 1 over, and I'm going to click that cell. So it's 1 over the value of the cell to the left. Okay, and so 1 over 0.3 is 3.3333333. Now I'm going to do something cool. I'm going to be like, just as this cell is 1 over that cell, Excel, you need to understand that this cell is going to be 1 over that cell, and this cell is 1 over that cell. So here's how I do this. I take the cell with the formula that I put in, I grab on to the lower right corner and drag down. Boom. The, this operation is called fill down. Okay, now that I have that column, the 1 over m column, I can just paste the a column right there, select these, make a scatter chart for it. Boom. That looks pretty linear. Left click a point to highlight the data series add a trend line, select the options display equation on chart and R squared value on chart, and look, that is a real good R squared value. Um, I wouldn't have had to use my fancy Excel uh, formulas and used fill down. I could have manually put in the value of 1 over 0.3 there, but uh, I like going fast when I can. Okay, so that's how to do that.